We'll start with the standard streamer hook size 10. I've got red sheer tying thread. Now you have to be careful when you're finishing this pattern that you don't crowd the eye. And this is a good tr trick to stop you doing that. If you start your tying thread just at three millimeters or so behind the hook eye and then we'll go back and we want to cover the whole hook shank here with a foundation of tying thread. What happens here is then you have a little gauge to see where you should finish the fly in order to have enough room to finish the head. So we'll just go back and I want to go all the way to back there. That will do me very well. So we'll just remove that. Then we need a length of uh, hollow braid. You can choose whatever your colour you like for this. So we'll take our length of body braid and what we want to do here is we just want to tie this in over the hook shank. Just go in open turns here just to secure it. We don't want to go forward of our gauge again. Just like that. And we go back. And we want to go back to there. That's very good. And then I'll put my tying thread behind that. Take our body braid now. Now we want to go in tight turns up the body. this and we want to stop about there and we go back we want to make this a little cigar shaped body keep it flat like that. and then we can go back over this again doesn't have to be perfect this but as long as you get the main shape you'll save time putting the UV resin on. So we'll go back now, tighten that up, work our way back, now we've got our basic cigar shape, we'll come back to here, tie that off there, then we'll carefully Remove that, spin our tying thread anti-clockwise to flatten it and what we want to do is just build up a nice hot spot of tying thread right at the tail base. Excellent, then we take our UV resin And the initial coat just wants to be ever so fine. Don't put too much on here. You just give it a little fine coat. Put too much on, you'll get it running everywhere. So just spread it out now. That's good helps with the rotary vice here and we'll just give that a blast with the torch to cure it there we are and then we can carry on and build up the body a little bit at a time so once you've got your initial body shape done 
what you can do is just turn it ever so slightly and just look around and if there are any uneven bits that you want to just touch up just a tiny bit come in with your torch again now of course if you want to weight this pattern you can put some lead on uh, under the body braid but I've never found it necessary it's heavy enough so what we need now is a strip of uh, squirrel zonka or any other zonka that you wish to use in any colour and you want to cut this about twice the length of the hook shank. Now, before we tie it in, you get a much better swimming action if you trim the end of the tail to a point like that. Then what we'll do is we'll measure it. We don't want too much of a tail on this. We only want a little one. So we'll go in there and we'll take our dubbing needle and we'll just measure the tying in point like that and separate that hair out. And we can wet our fingers and just pull those to one side so that hair isn't going to get in the way for us when we tie it in. So what we do now is we go around once, twice and just tighten up. Make sure you position it on top of the hook shank. There we are, that's looking good. And then we can go around and secure this making a little hot spot at the base of the tail like so make sure it's on top of the hook shank it's looking good don't worry about those little bits of fluff so what we do now is we go in there and then how I finish this off is I pull off my tying thread to make a loop like that around my finger and then I go twice around put my bobbin through the loop to make a knot put my whip finisher on there and then just tighten that in like that and we'll do one more in between make a loop on your finger round twice bobbing through the loop put the hook on and just pull that in there we are. then we can remove our tying thread like so take an ever so small drop varnish and just place it on the whippings like that good then we need some tape eyes I like using the super bright ones put one on there these can be put on earlier if you wish and one on there, make sure that they're balanced and then what I do is I just take a drop of UV resin on my dubbing needle place it over the eye like that, give it a blast turn it around Another drop on that side. Just to secure the eyes and give it another blast. Like so. And then we take our tying thread again and we attach our tying thread. to the front of the hook and remove that everything together there we pull our zonka strip over 
Now we want a little bit of hair coming out at the front here because this makes things when I tighten up it'll bring the front of the hair up so we want a little bit of hair staying there so we just go over pull that down each side make a few turns just to secure it and then we'll come in with our scissors and we'll trim that off like that need to trim off a little bit there because I've cut it at an angle there we are and what we do is we want to build up a nice red nose on this spin our thread anti-clockwise to flatten it and that will cover more start at the front work our way back excellent take our whip finisher finishes in there remove that and then I'm going to give the whole thing the head there's a little hair sticking out there so I'll just cover the wing and take a lighter and just burn that away so it doesn't mess up my varnishing take my varnish And there we are, there's the finished UV Zonka. It's a great little bait fish pattern. Catch fish all over wherever you are. And the combination of colours you can use is just phenomenal. If you enjoy the videos, please like, share, subscribe, and thanks for watching.